Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. JD here again with a very, 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 very quick video. First of all, just to catch up, it's been a week or so since my last video. I just wanted to say thank you very much. Subscriber count is um, on the increase, um, so that's really good. So if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. My aim is to get to 3,000 subs by Christmas time. I'm currently on 2818 as at... Uh, what are we on? 26th of August? Something like that. So it'd be really nice to hit the 3,000 subscriber count. So please do hit subscribe. If you haven't already done so, please hit that bell so you can get notification as to when I release new content. Um, also, please do continue to email me here if you would like a copy of the spreadsheet. Just to make it clear that when you email me, that, um, when you send an email to that address, you will get my auto response, which just gives you some instructions. Essentially, it just says you need to give me uh, a £10 contribution, which I think is reasonable. The amount of hours I've spent on this spreadsheet, and that will include as many updates as I ever do. So as soon as you've made that one-off payment, you will get all the updates that I ever create for the spreadsheet. So I don't want people to waste the time. I've had a few emails from people who are sending an email and just saying, can you send me a copy of the spreadsheet? And then when I explain that it's a £10 donation, I never hear from them again. So uh, I don't want to waste your time. You know, I think it's a worthwhile tool. People are really um, saving money by using it. But if you um, aren't interested in uh, giving me a small donation, then please don't bother emailing. Do email me also if you want me to help with anything else. Recently, um, I think I charged, it was a small fee, 25 quid or something. I had a look at somebody's current PCP agreement um, and went through it, broke it all down and explained things like VT rights, etc. And they were really grateful for that. So if there's anything else I can do, if you want me to cast your eye over either current agreements or future agreements that you're getting quotes on, please don't hesitate to get in touch. What I wanted to do is just recap a little bit on this spreadsheet because I've had a few people emailing saying that it wasn't quite working correctly. And I just wanted to, again, make it clear as to some of the important features of this spreadsheet that you need to be aware of. That wasn't very well worded, was it? But you know what I mean. So um, first and foremost, the total cost might be misleading. Maybe I'll update this one day. The total cost is the total purchase price. OK, so I had someone recently who was putting in their current deal and what they were doing was that they were actually putting in here not only the purchase price, but also all the charges. So let's say it was, I don't know, 20 grand. Um, and they had a deposit of, I can't see my keyboard, £1,000. And a guaranteed future value of £8,000. And an option to purchase fee of £10. And the starting month of August 2020. And a quoted APR of 3.9. And let's say it was a 36-month agreement. Now, this is the other important bit. If anyone's confused about the spreadsheet, I've put there it's equal payments. So again, this goes back to how many equal payments are on the agreement. So if it's a 36-month agreement, is it 36 equal payments or is it 35? Often it will be 35 because 36 will be where your guaranteed future value lies, your optional purchase payment. So I'm going to put on here 35. Um, three months will ignore. That's as you've um, seen in the past. That's if a dealer is saying they're going to give you three months on us, like my recent video on Audi, um, which we proved wasn't quite as straightforward as they were claiming. Anyway, um, so as you can see, it says 358.88. Now, one of my viewers was confused because what they were doing was they were let's let's pretend it was this example. They were taking this total cost twenty one five seventy seventy seven and putting that into the total cost column, which I suppose makes sense. And maybe I like I say I should reword that to purchase price. Um, so what they were doing, they were kind of the spreadsheet was calculating interest twice because they were already putting the total cost with interest into the total cost box and then the spreadsheet was adding interest on again so if i put 21,570 in there a lot oh look the monthly payment's gone up nearly 50 quid so just to make it clear the total cost is the, the total purchase price excluding any charges and the other important bit is make sure you put the number of equal payments in there so if it's a 48 month agreement be careful as to note whether it's 48 equal payments or 47 
Okay, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I will be in touch again soon with a new video when I've thought of something to do. As I said, please comment and subscribe as usual. I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching.